Welcome to Friday Night Sports Extra. Alyssa Charleston, Keith Oso. If you joined us last week, Taylor Graham is at a Jonas Brothers concert. If you've seen Taylor in the last few days, please let us know. We'd like to have her back on the show. She was on assignment today. If you watched the news earlier, she was doing news tonight. So <laughs> multi-talented is her. that Taylor Graham. And uh, we've got lots of football to get to. We've got some crazy standings in the GSL. Can't wait to show you the highlights from tonight and last night that makes everything upside down. But for once, we're not going to start in Washington. We're starting in North Idaho. Because you have to. You have to, because it's Lake City and it's Coeur d'Alene. Coeur d'Alene has beaten a few teams from the GSL. They're involved in all of it. So let's take it out right to Coeur d'Alene as we speak. Hosting the Vikings, the T-Wolves D, setting the tone early. Seth Nutting and Ian Hampton combine on the sack on the game's first drive. But this game belongs to the Vikings. Jake Brown takes the slant from Jack Perka, 40 yards plus. We did the math, flipping the field for Coeur d'Alene. Later on the drive, Gunnar Giulo pounds the rock home. Nice uh, spin move there. Avoids the tackler. Vikings up 12 to nothing. Lake City would start to click on offense. Josiah Weaver keeps the ball himself, picks up a first down on a keeper, but Coeur d'Alene would continue its dominance. Jack Perka keeps it himself, uses the men in front, and trucks in, clears the path to the end zone. Vikings win this one 45 to nothing, the shutout. An impressive win. I'm really glad that previous episodes of Friday Night Sports Extra Online, so you can go back to episode two or three when we said, don't be surprised if any of four teams win the GSL 4A title this year, because here we are with two weeks to go, and watch these highlights here from tonight and last night. You'll understand why any of these four teams can still win it. We're going Mead CV tonight. Mead on the attack. It's Ryan Blair going airborne to Kavea Abgari. And he's giggity, giggity gone. How about 75 yards into the end zone? It makes it 7-3 to three. Panthers. Bears turn. It's Matt Gabbert going to go over the middle. But it's Admiral Akbar. It's a trap. Kyler Carlson with the interception for Mead. And they would capitalize. They get down near the goal line. Blair going to swing it out to Hunter Marler out of the backfield. That's another touchdown for Meade. So CV has to answer. They go back to the quarterback. It's Gabbert. He's going to scramble around. Should have got sacked. Gets away from it. Goes back to the middle of the field and throws off the rocket. Cameron Shelley for a touchdown in the back of the end zone. Third quarter, Bears looking for some more, but it's Spencer Lyman oh, no. with their fumble recovery for the Panthers. We have a lot of defensive and offensive linemen highlights tonight. I'm excited about it. 35-19, that hands CV their first loss in the GSL. Meade now tied with CV. Why is that important? Interesting. Let's go back in the time machine to last night. Ferris and Gonzaga prep. At the time, prep didn't have a loss. Ferris had one loss. We're going to go scoreless early on, but... Nate Schlosser out of the wing tee. Gonna give, he gets into the end zone. So it's 14-0. Stick with the wing tee. I believe this play is 134 trap. It's uh, Schlosser again. Just before halftime, they're going to get it done again. Jack Clavel going to huck it up 33 yards to Casey Hawking. Ferris is in rhythm here, and they're going to get in the end zone again. Clavel to Terrence Altone, or, uh, Antolin on the slant. It's 21-0, Ferris at the half. Bull pups need some life. Third quarter, it's Clavel looking deep for his receiver, but Liam Harrington is there for the interception for Gonzaga Prep, who's worked the ball down the field. So here they come. But the Ferris defense last night wasn't having any of it. Jake Davis chases down Ryan McKenna for the sack. Saxon shutout Prep 34-0, meaning Prep, Ferris, CB, <laughs> Meade, all tied for first place with two weeks to go in the GSL. It's like a participation trophy. Everybody <laughs> can win a championship, Alyssa. <laughs> it is so exciting. It gives you all the reason to stay tuned in. And listen to him. He knows. He's wearing his glasses again. He did the math. Everybody is tied <laughs> Thanks. for first in the GSL. Well, also a very interesting race in the 3A. Shadle Park, Mount Spokane. Remember, Mount Spokane was dominant all last year. And then Shadle Park comes in takes the championship home. Well, they both have to face teams that aren't quite at their same pace. So Shadow Park taking on a uh, North Central team tonight. You cannot let anyone go easy, but pitch it out to Logan Doyle. He's going to scamper home. Highlanders go up six early on, and they're looking for more. But there is a fumble. Malachi Tracy, the big guy recovery, but the Indians would give it back eventually. Second quarter, it's going to be a whole lot more Shadow Doyle, Doyle looking rolls. to pass. He finds Xavier Atkins in the end zone. Highlanders building their big lead, and their defense was strong as well. NC's Carter Strom scrambling, throws over the middle, and it's intercepted by Edwin Burgos. 
Watch him go a little flow, a little flow in the wind. Not bad. There. Pick Not bad. six, returns it all the way for the score, and the Highlanders put it away when Ryan Schmidt at quarterback hits Isaiah Webb Campbell. Much more he flow. takes the ball and more flow. Wow, <laughs> whole team of, of wonderful hair into the end zone. Shadle wins big, 43 to six. Well, let's go back also to Thursday night. It's Mount Spokane and Rogers. Mount Spokane really not taking any mercy, giving any mercy early on. They go off in the first quarter, and so. Does Cannon Katzer, eight yard rush into the end zone, one of his two TDs in the first quarter. They're up 21 to nothing. They force Rodgers to punt. Now, Jeter Sherman lofting it up for Tommy Medill. He dances his way in for six more. 28 to nothing, Cats. Still first quarter. The Pirates, they're on the move a little bit later, but Ryan Miller takes down Casey Jeske. The ball's loose. Ikaika Williams recovers deep in Rogers' territory, and Mount Spokane turns it into more points. It's Sherman to Ryland Kitchen on the slant. Wildcats win this one big, 71 to nothing. A lot of matchups in the GSL between 3A, 3A, 4A, 4A. We also had a 4A, 3A matchup out in the Valley. Hard to believe, Ari Senior Night out at U High, their last home game of the season. U High hosting Lewis and Clark tonight, and the Tigers. Had the ball early on the rollout here from Jake, uh, Jace Parvin to David Dunlap. Check out that catch. Gets the knee down. Tigers had the force to punt, though. Long, methodical drive by Uhai Elijah Morse on the keepers. Got some yards. Oh, but the ball comes out. Watch this. Ooh. David Cadillo. We got an offensive lineman in Friday Night Sports <laughs> Extra. Got the fumble recovery. All yes. right, David. Speaking of the O-line, watch this. Just get behind him. Everybody ends up in the end zone. That's good push up front. Morse with the touchdown. LC on the move again. Keel Potter. Going to go around the left side. Potter with some physical running all the way down inside the five, and they give it back to Potter. <gasps> and what can Potter possibly do? Something having to do with Harry Potter. Avada Kedavra. How about that? <laughs> oh, my Little gosh. dark forces into the end zone. <laughs> that spell means touchdowns, Alyssa. I don't know <laughs> if you that? knew that, but look at this. Wow. high gets the win on senior night by a point. Congratulations wow. to the Titans. Pretty fun football game out there. I have to uh, thank my daughter for the Harry Potter references. Because <laughs> she's kind of a, a, an expert at it. I'm, I'm not. I don't know if I said that right. But, Wingardium uh, Livioso is what I thought you were going to go for. But that was pretty good, too. Yeah. And Lewis and Clark, another team we thought was going to be in that race with the GSL, too. We got some GNL highlights coming up. We got some tough Can't teams wait. up there going head to head as well. And others. That's coming our way with Friday Night Sports Extra. Continue.